Party! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. So, now we are really nearing the end of the Let's Play. We really only have three things left to do. Survival Endless along with the Endless Puzzle Modes. And we're going to start things off with Vase Breaker Endless. Now, this is one of only two things I never was able to complete in the iPhone version. One of the achievements is to get to a streak of 15 in this Endless Mode. Never did manage to do that in the iPhone edition, and there are a couple reasons. One is just, I didn't like Vase Breaker really at all. Vase Breaker Endless is very monotonous, and every level is pretty much the same. It also seemed kind of luck-based. I also, however, looked up some strats and realized I've been playing this kind of sub-optimally, so... Let's start. Oh hey, the rake is still around. I guess that'll help. Potentially. So... I think I mentioned in my Vase Breaker, when I did Vase Breaker just in Adventure Mode, is to open up the green vases first. No, that's not what you want to do. The green vases you want to save unless you really need them, because you know for sure they're going to contain plants. Instead, what I've seen people do is always break all five of these vases in the back first. Alright. So there you go. Squash, we're gonna put squash down here. We're gonna be putting these squashes down the lane. So how Vase Breaker Endless works is that every single, basically every single seed of Vase Breaker Endless is going to have the same stuff. So you're gonna get the same plants. Every Vase Breaker Endless is gonna have a certain amount of regular zombies, a certain amount of bucket zombies. And there's also going to be one jack-in-the-box zombie hiding somewhere where when we unlock him, he's going to blow up all nearby vases and plants. And there's also going to be a gargantua hidden somewhere. We want to make sure that when the gargantua appears, we've got a squash waiting for him at the end, and potentially a second squash that we can put down after the first one is gone. Okay, I... Yeeks. Plantern, we'll put him down there. Yeah, we need, uh, we need some squash. Please? There we go. That's good. Alright, now we re I really hope there are some more squash hanging out around. Because, uh, that gargantua is there. And we're gonna- well, he'll hit the rake, I guess. So that's something. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, that should do it. I think we'll get him down to low enough HP that the squash will kill him in one hit before he can throw the imp. Because you don't- if you get his HP down too low, too far to the- there we go. We didn't even need the rake. So I still did not do that optimally. So when the when the zombies are moving to the right, like when the when a zombie is moving on top of a vase, it tends to br help to break open a second vase so that both of the zomb if there's another zombie in there, they'll both kind of be at the same area. So that way you can kill them with a single squad. Put the planter in there. Oh boy, Gargantua is hanging out. Fun. So this squash will get both of them. Oh no, I lost the walnut. That's the problem, you can't keep... Yeah. Alright, so we'll put the squash down there. I'll put you over there, just in case. Okay, see? That's not good, we don't want that. Either. 
potato mines. Have that prepared for the gargantua. And a second zombie. Cool. That's bad. See, that's actually quite bad. I did not want the, the both of the squash to hit that one guy. Hope. Oof. I really hope. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then that was close. That bucket had got a little dangerously close. This should be fine. I actually think squash might finish him off all by himself because we've got backwards repeater and two free peters shooting at him. But if the squash doesn't finish him off, then the potato mine will. And he's far enough to the left in the lane. Because normally when he nor, normally when the Gargantuar loses half his health, that's when he throws the imp. But if he's too if he's close enough to the left side of the screen, then he will not ever throw the imp. Which is nice. Cool. Okay! Great. Oh, and the Gargantuar is breaking pots for me. How kind of him. I need a squash. Stat. Okay, cool. Come on. Kind of need a squash soon. That also works. This should be fine. Yep. We'll get them both down to the same area. Oh, beautiful. Then Squash can finish the job. Very nice. This is kind of stressful, but this is a lot better than uh, I remember it being. Still seems a bit luck-based to me, though. Okay, cool. We know where the Gargantuar is. This is actually fantastic. Alright, so he'll be taken down very nice and easy. Okay, so you are a bucket head. Alright, second bucket head. I mean, they're all heading towards the squash, so this is great, actually. This is just great. <laughs> oh man, I'm just waiting for that to <laughs> move up and then bada beam. <laughs> okay, I think he will throw his imp, yeah, but we've got a second squash waiting for him. We also, because we get, we're getting sun in one of the vases every time, we can also deploy an emergency cherry bomb if it comes to that, which is nice. Alright. Only 
only one sun that time. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. goes down all right oh thank goodness he didn't blow up my squash i actually can't believe he didn't blow up the squash all right that was a little close <laughs> uh, the gargantuar worried me a bit but there we go Again, in Vase Breaker, you always work from the back first. Alright, yeah, he's, that's fine. Okay, I'm a little worried now. Because the Gargantuar is going to be in one of these places. Okay, I, when the Gargantuar spawns... Close to, uh, close to the house? That's always a little disconcerting. And that's where the plantern is very useful. More vases incoming. Alright, we're on a streak of six, so we're doing great. I just hope they don't change up the vase generation on me. Well, heck, that's pretty good. Okay, that's... Oh, well, we wasted a squash there. That's a bummer. One of these is a planter and one of these is a gargantuar. Actually, I hope this is the planter. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so that's where the garg is. Alright. Oh, no. We might end up having to use a cherry bomb to defeat the garg. That's an easy choice. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. With that. There you go. Now the guard comes out, and I gotta hope that we have enough firepower to take out the guard all by himself. We actually might. Especially if I use the walnut to buy it. Oh, never mind. Oh, we were very safe. <laughs> I was worried that I had wasted too many squash. Alright. 
Okay. <laughs> fun, fun. If I could get all of these guys <laughs> stacked on top of each other, that would be fantastic. Come on, get them all. No, oh, didn't get them all. Uh oh. Gotta find another squash. There we go. Man, that guy eats fast. Oh. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I couldn't. That, that's the thing. I never know how many zombies are left versus how many plants are left. Okay. Well, this will be fun. Well, we know where the Jack of the Box zombie is, so that's funny. <laughs> okay! This could be bad. This actually could be very bad. I got a cherry bomb just in case, but uh, it's not a lot of firepower to go, and yet now he's not frozen anymore, so. I think I'll be having to use, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I was cutting it real close. I was cutting it real close there, but I, I, I he, his, his arm had fallen off, so I'm like, he's so close to death. Oh, great! Another guard combo. And so soon, too. Um, is it just me, or are we not getting very many plants right now? There is a shocking amount of lack of plants around here. Okay, that definitely gave me way fewer squash that time. So now they, they, they are changing these face breaker ones up on me a bit. This guy's dead, though. He'll get close, but with the slowing and triple P's, yeah, he's, he doesn't stand a chance. Cool! Streak of ten, and hey, a thousand dollars. Nice. So we just gotta go through five more. We just gotta go through five more and we'll be good. 
I hate how I keep accidentally revealing the guard really early, though. Okay, wonderful. There's a second guard? That's not okay. Come on, come on, potato mine, arm yourself. All right, great. Okay, I don't know how we survived that, but I'm glad that I have enough sun to buy at least two cherry bombs. Cool, cool. Alright, I like this. Let's just take it a little slower. <laughs> I will let, as long as the Garg doesn't appear here. Actually worked out really well. There's another Garg around here, though. I knew it. Okay, I played that one a little risky, but it worked. I, so now I know there are two Gargs. So when I saw all of those squash, I'm like, I've got to find the second Garg so I know where to put them. Okay. Wonderful. I'm really glad that the Gargs are dying so fast this time. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> that potato mine will take them all out. <laughs> cool. Well, that one went really well. I just got two more levels to beat. And I've got- I still have enough for... Actually, I've got enough for free cherry bombs. That's great. Ooh, okay. Oh, wonderful. Of course. to find that second guard. There he is. Uh-oh. Oh, thank you. Alright, this is gonna be a cherry bomb time. Now I'm on a streak of 14. I'm 
Now that I have to wait for the cherry bomb to recharge, I think I'm gonna just kind of sit back and wait for that to recharge, because I do want that safety uh, cherry bomb there. I don't care about getting the best possible score, I just want to make sure I get to a streak of 15, so I gotta beat this one. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Yeah, Vasebreaker gets hectic once there are two Gargs on the map. Oof. Everything can, uh... Everything can get crazy very quickly. I'm not sure what's worse, when the Garg is up close or when the Garg is at the very back and you open it first. Alright, cool. So I am going to break open this. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. See, if you can use the planter to see everything that's around you, that's fantastic. I'm just gonna take it slow. You know, there's no real reason to, to rush through all of this. Okay, there's the second Garg. Wonderful. That's fine, we're ready for him. No! Well, that's a freebie. Cool, we didn't even need that second squash for him. Okay, I should have done that better. go. That's the streak of 15. Beautiful. Streak of 15. And we get the China Shop achievement. I have never gotten that one before, so that's cool. Wow. This is slightly worrying to me. There we are. Oh, cool. I don't even really know why I'm continuing, because I've already, as far as I'm concerned, I've already done with this. But hey, might as well just see what lies in store for me afterwards. Let's see how high I can go. I'll at least see if I can get to 20. That'll be fun. Brains. Yeah, breaking the vases as the zombies walk over them. Especially the bucket zombies. Mm -hmm. Great idea.
Both of the Gargs are in these two lines. Both of them. Unless he's here. Oh. Well, I think that that's game over, yeah! Maybe not! Had to use a charity bomb, though. Man, this is kind of boring, though, and I got the achievement that I was after. I'm more just interested to see if... Uh... What was I going to say? I'm more just interested to see if Vase Breaker changes substantially in some way. I'm going to get the 20. Oh wow! I see both of the guards! Oh, I forgot about the free Peters shooting this guy. <laughs> that actually could have ended badly. Doggone it, stop eating, stop using the squashes! Oh, thank you, potato mine. Okay. Fun.
on. Yes! Oh, good. That was enough. Oh, squash didn't do anything. All right. That's fine. Cool. We got through a streak of 20. I don't really want to play Vase Breaker anymore. I'm not a huge fan of this mode. But thankfully, what we can do is we can go back to the main menu and our game will be saved. So we can go back to Vase Breaker Endless anytime and it will carry off from where we left off. If we lose at Vase Breaker, though, then you have to go back to the streak of 1. So that's how it goes. So now, woohoo, China Shop Achievement. So, that is Vase Breaker Endless down. Unfortunately, the next challenge that we have, which is Eye Zombie Endless, to get to a streak of 10, that's probably going to be a lot harder, because I think at this point that is now more luck-based than the Vase Breaker Endless is. At least Survival Endless is going to be fun. I have, I have a good feeling about Survival Endless. Never actually played it before, because again, uh, the iPhone version did not have Survival Endless, as far as I can remember. So, that, that should be interesting. Actually, maybe it did. Maybe it did. I just remember Last Stand Endless was more fun. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll be doing iZombie Endless, and we may end up having to restart that a couple of times. Because, oh boy, unless they changed it for the Game of the Year edition, that one is going to be toughy. So, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.